When a creative you admire suddenly does something that makes you think they've lost their mind, consider what it takes to create. If their mind worked like an average one does, it likely won't have created any of the creations you may like in the first place. I first thought of this paragraph, phrase, thing some time back when I was just thinking about the way I thought about certain things and also some of the creatives that I like. And then you have this current time, current timeline, where some people are saying certain people like Hollywood, for example, are creatively bankrupt. Or they talk about certain people who are infiltrating certain projects and things like that and inserting certain content into it in a way that is not necessarily well received and you're wondering what is what's with these people why, why don't you just go create your own thing that's a regular thing why don't you stop stop ruining the thing that i'm doing create your own thing this is supposed to be for the fans and things like that but the whole creative process in my experience has been varied where you can create new things and problems occur not because of what x is but because of how we define x so I'd like to go to Merriam-Webster and actually give the definition of create here. So the first one is a transitive verb, to bring into existence. God created heaven and earth, the heaven and the earth. 2a, to invest in a new form, office, or rank. She was created a lieutenant. 2b, to produce or bring about by a course of action or behavior. Her arrival created a terrible fuss. Create new jobs. 3. Cause or occasion. Famine creates high food prices. 4a. To produce through imaginative skill. Create a painting. 4b. To design. The intransitive verb version. To make or bring into existence something new. An artist who is good at imitating but not at creating. Number 2. To set up a scoring opportunity in basketball. Create off the dribble. Does that thing of shut up and dribble. I think there is a creative aspect to something like basketball. There's physicality, but there's also creative. Anyone can pretty much bounce a ball, but not everyone can actually see, okay, I'm going to go here, go between the uh, legs, do the twist, pass it to this person, run this play. There's some extra aspect in there that not everybody can see. But the physicality, even for the actual players, they can get to a point where they're like, okay, I can't do anything right now, but I'm just going to brute force through this point and actually get to the basket. And there's room for that in sports. There's a balance between the actual game, the gameplay, and the actual physicality of it, the fundamentals, like that one skit from uh, Futurama with the Amazonia plant-ups. But there's good fundamentals in not watching the women's basketball. You can't focus too much on just fundamentals as a mix. But now on the other aspect of it, I think it gets to this point of the creative industry. Why is the creative industry so bankrupt? Why are certain people just inserting certain ideas, this physicality? We're going to take away this character and put this other character in. It's not about creating something new. It's not about adding something to it. It's about just physically taking out certain things. These people are more focused on destroying something they don't like than imagining a way to bring in something new and creating something new that they do like. And that's to me what's the most boring aspect of this. It's not even, it's it's not something that's shocking or anything. You think, oh, it's so shocking that I've done this. Oh, it's crazy. It's not crazy. This changing saying, what if XY was born as XX? That is boring. That is unimaginative. That is not creative.